In today's episode, you will learn how to create an array of any elements to follow a certain path in Blender. That can be a chain, rope, rails, bridges, robot arms, whatever you want. So let's start. Let's start by deleting a default cube because we don't need it. We will create a chain for this example and you will also learn how to create a chain. Let's create a circle, shift A and use circle here, seven to go to the top view and tab left to go to the vertices, edit vertices, select half of them. This is the easiest way. G, Y, just to move it on Y axis like that. And we have the shape of one chain link. Go back to the object and we just need to add a depth. Really simple and easy, right click, convert, to curve. Also, you can go to object, convert to curve, whatever you want. And now with that, we have here curve modifier and we will go to the geometry and to the depth right here. And you can do whatever you want here. You can play it. I love this method because it's non-destructive and in any moment of your modeling, you can always go here and change the depth of your chain link. Perfect. Then right click, shade smooth or auto shade smooth. And I can go with the control one to add subdivision surface modifier. You can see it right here and just go and add subdivision surface with one levels in viewport. Perfect. And now it's time to add array of these links to create a chain. So just go here to the modifiers, add array modifier. And because it's on X axis, we don't want that. We want to zero out this. We have a Y axis here. Just press and hold shift and just move it where you think it's okay. So it's like that, but we need to rotate one chain link on 90 degrees. There are several ways how you can do it. You can create two of chain links, one 90 degree, one zero degree, and just control J to merge them into one, to connect them, to join them into one mesh, one object, and then create a ray. But I prefer this way. I will go with empty, create plane axis, for example, right there, and go to the chain links here, go to the modifier mesh and here in the array, see object offset, check this and choose the object. Object is empty right there. Also select empty, make sure that you selected empty and go with R rotated on Y axis by 90 degrees, R Y 90. And this is it. This is perfect. Also, you can set the array here a little bit more. So move it Y something like that. That's perfect. And what you need to do is just increase the count, see? And this is it. But actually for this example, the count is not important at all. We can set it to whatever number we want because we will make this chain to follow any curve that we want and the length of the curve will define the length of the chain. This is perfect and it's so, so simple and easy. So we need to create a curve. Shift A, go to the curve. You can use Bezier, you can use path, whatever you want. Let me show you with a path, for example. It's right there, R 90 degrees. I want to rotate it as to scale it a bit and let's go to edit and we can just see, move these points however we want. And with that, define the shape of the curve. So let's, let's have S curve, for example. And now what we need to do, go back to the object and go here to the modifiers and we need to add a curve modifier. Perfect. And in curve modifier, just select the curve that you want to use. In this case, we want this one. Okay, perfect. And also it's following the path, but just a few of it. Also, we need to go to the array modifier instead of fixed type and the count of it. We want to set fit curve. Perfect. But we now need to select this curve like that. And this is it. This is cool, but we need just to invert here the, the, the four axes. If we go with the minus X, it will fit the curve. Perfect. Just if, if your object doesn't fit the curve, just play with uh, axes right here. Also make sure that the location here is zero. If it's not just control A and apply location. So this is really simple and easy. And now if we go here with our curve and go to the edit mode and select any of the points here, see how it doesn't matter where we move it, the chain, the length of the chain will be defined of the length of the curve and we can easily create any shape that we want for our project. So really, really simple and easy. Also, let me show you, we can go to the object mode and add instead of the path Bezier curve and I will make it bigger just to show you how to work with this. So just make it bigger, go to the edit. And this one is a little bit different, looks different. It has these 
control points, tangents for rotating the curve and maybe have a little bit more control over it. I like it also. And if you want to expand the curve control and just click wherever you want and you will just expand it and again, move it however you want and use these points to also make it more interesting. And now if you want to transfer the chain to this curve right here, no problem, go to the chain, just remember, go to the object, just remember the name, this is Bezier curve, this is Nerbs path, so chain, just change here. I want this and also don't worry about this and I want here and curve this and also we need to move this for example on Y, yeah, on Y and this is it. And also again, if we just move in edit mode any of these points, we will move the chain and this is the beauty of array following the curve. Like that you can create bridges, rails, robot arms, whatever you want. So this trash can robot that I created here, this arm is made and this arm is made exactly like that. So let me show you really quickly with this cool object. If I go and hide the array, this is just one simple object and I just used exactly the same trick, array and curve modifier and with the curve I shape the arms and this is amazing. Also I'm gonna show you how to create this really cute trash can robot completely from scratch in the next episode. So practice experiment and stay tuned for the next one. Bye bye.